Hello, my name is Shredderos, and tonight I want to tell you about my airsoft loadout. We are joined by Hazel tonight, so if you hear her rumbling, you'll know where that is. So I've got a lot of things here, and I'm just going to tell you about each one of them. Start off with my ammunition. I use these Maximum Precision .25 gram pellets. You've seen these on the channel before, though this was a long time ago, back in summer of 2016. These are great pellets, very nice. Pretty easy to see you go through the air, and you definitely know when you get hit by these. So, I don't actually carry this around, that would just be very uncomfortable and very awkward, but I do carry a bag around and I carry a bag full of these pellets I put this in my pocket or wherever and from there I just load when I can now I want to tell you I am not too dedicated to airsoft airsoft is not one of my big hobbies it's definitely one of my minor hobbies I would like to get some more guns and some more gear for it but I don't have a bunch of armor, a bunch of, like, a, a uniform or stuff like that. I don't have big rifles and stuff. Because this is really only something I do with Shadow Squadron. I don't go to fields and do this. If I was going to a field, this would not suffice. My gear here would not work. I mean, it would, some of it, but it would not be enough. But for my purposes, this is enough. And it's actually pretty effective for what I do. So I don't have multiple magazines, that's why I carry these bags around. Next is my Allen wrench. I decide whether to carry this around at the beginning of the match. I use this to unscrew the magazine on one of my pistols to put new CO2 in. And I will carry one backup CO2. I will hope in the match so I don't have to use it. So I don't want it to run out that quickly, but if I need it, you know, it's one of those things, you know, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So I just carry one of these. Next is my green gas. I actually do not carry this around because again, it's a little uncomfortable. Well, depending on whether I am using my backpack or not in the match, if I am using the backpack, I will put this in. This is an empty bottle. So before my next war, I will be getting a new bottle, but this is just what I use for my gas pistol. Next is my explosives and smoke, and also the slider. I just carry a bick around. Well, I have a ton of bicks, ton of lighters, so I just take whatever one I want. Usually this one, no particular reason, just like it. I've got two smoke bombs, some little silver salutes, I think these are M96, M98, and bigger silver salutes. And these are actually very effective, especially the firecrackers. Uh, from personal experience in a match that I was playing with my group, it was pretty dark outside, and we were behind some trees, and my enemy, the enemy team was in the field and they were pretty much having us pinned down. We couldn't really move from those trees. So I threw one of these out, one of these silver ones. Exploded and it totally caught them off guard. They were not ready for it. And they, I could hear them exclaiming, what is that? And we ran out from the other side of the tree and we actually got some of them. So very effective. And even if they know I might do it this time, it still is effective. It's still going to work pretty well. So, smoke grenades, same thing. Not as effective as, like, bombs, but same sort of thing. Distractions. So, that is something I carry around. Next is something I carry on me, of course. Eye protection. This is pretty good. Pretty comfortable and clear. I only like the clear lenses. I don't like yellow colored. It's just weird. Uh, clear is what works for me. Uh, doesn't really get foggy. Very easy to see. So it's just pretty nice. Next I have binoculars 
and I'm going to be using this when we do capture the flag, which is a new game mode that we are going to do in our wars. Uh, we've only done team deathmatch so far, but at the next war, we're going to have team deathmatch, capture the flag, and free for all. And this is something that my team will be using in capture the flag. It's just nice to see what the enemy is doing from a ways away, if they're loading or whatever. Mostly a stealth tactical thing. We're not going to be using this while we're running around shooting at each other, but if we're playing at a bigger field, then it would be nice to be able to use these and see what they are doing. I also carry my multi-tool. It's a pretty nice tool. I like this. It has a lot of stuff on it. This is just good to have. It's easy to throw in my gun bag, and it is pretty useful if I ever need to get it, then I just take this. And this is some, a new addition to my loadout, so we will see if I ever need to use it in the war. Now we'll move on to the weapons I carry. So first we have the shotgun here, a spring shotgun, but it is actually pretty accurate. It's a pretty nice magazine. For, for something with really no sights, this is pretty accurate. Uh, it is nice to use. This will be the first time I'm using this in war, so again, I might tell you how it goes. Now, I've got some other guns that I carry at the same time, so this is not the only thing. But this is good to have. I think that's always nice to have a spring gun, just in case you run out of CO2 or gas or anything. It's nice to have this as a backup. This is just something we're going to carry around my backpack or maybe, and Hazel is messing with something. A cord from something. Might have to get her here. But yeah, this is a good gun to have. It's quite old. We've had it for a long time. And it is pretty reliable. Spring guns are very reliable. You don't have to worry about anything. So again, it's just pretty nice to have something like this in your loadout. This is very light, it's not going to take a lot of weight. It's just plastic, really no heavy internals. It's very simple. Next is my Smith & Wesson MP40. This is a CO2 pistol and this is very nice. This is the gun that I used in the last Airsoft War and it served me well because I got a lot of kills and in that war out of like five or so matches not once was I hit by the other team. Not once. And the teams alternated too, so it's not like I was just going against a bad team the whole time. So this served me very well in pretty much any firefight I got. I came out on top because of the technique I used with this run. I would pretty much run toward them at a dia uh, diagonally to get in range with this, and I would kind of get a strafe I kind of strafe and then I would kind of lock that like lock on to them and pretty much just run and put about five shots their direction and uh, they went down quick with that technique that strafe and lock on technique uh, very effective and it definitely worked for me so this is a good gun except there is one problem that I've had with it that is sometimes uh, the CO2 leakage can be a problem. Sometimes that the CO2 leaks very quickly and you can just waste entire cartridges of CO2. So hopefully that does not continue. But if it does, I do have backup weapons. But this is a very nice gun for $30. $30, yes, it is good. It is plastic, and actually is, you know, striker fire on the CO2 cartridge, just like the real one. So, I have actually, I want to shoot a real MP40, which actually is 40 caliber, because I do like the, the feeling of this. It feels good, it feels nice. So, in conclusion, this is... 
a pretty reliable gun for what it is and it has served me well. It is pretty accurate and I enjoy using it. The third gun I carry, third and last, I do carry these all at the same time in a war, is my Breda M9. I really like this. The Breda M9 is probably my favorite actual handgun, at least 9mm handgun. I don't know if it's my favorite of all, but definitely 9mm. See these sights. And this is metal slide, heavy magazine, green gas, good trigger, nice safety, a good slide, functioning blowback slide, nice hammer. You see, this does have completely functioning hammer. It just looks great, so this will be probably my main uh, weapon in the war. I really enjoy shooting this and using this, it's very accurate. I do have a video on this, although it's not the best video. I was a little bit awkward in front of the camera back then, and it's kind of funny looking back because I was a little bit heavy back then. That was before I um, started exercising. I was... I also wore shirts that were kind of too tight for me back then, but it's still a pretty good video. I was shooting with it, so if you want to go see that, I might link it if I can remember. So this is a great pistol. I really enjoy using it, and it is going to leave marks on my enemy, and they are going to know when they get hit by this, so it's going to be great. It's a bit of an awkward shot, but... Next is my gun bag, which I use for transportation of my gear. This is a very nice bag. I bought it for my Smith & Wesson Victory, but I will use it in their software now to carry around my stuff. has a nice handle, a great strap, which is very useful. Put this around me, and it's pretty tight, so it will want to stay on. Lots of uh, containers in here. Again, it's dark. I might be able to do something here. We'll use the flashlight a little bit. Show you in here. I've got different containers, and put all my stuff in here. At least my smaller stuff, like my tools and my pyrotechnic slider. And I will keep both my pistols in here when running around while I'm carrying my shotgun and uh, it's good, it's, it pretty much used as a holster it has these different uh, pouches in here, these different layers it's very nice and I found a ton of silver salutes in this pouch back here so this is awesome to have, it's going to really really help in the war to transport stuff instead of trying to rely on putting things in my pocket that is great to have. It's going to really help out. Finally is my backpack. I will decide before a match whether or not I want to carry this. I, If I do carry it, I'll be carrying this and the gun bag at the same time, so it might be a little bit weird. But this will be good because it will hold my shotgun, it will hold my green gas, and if I want, I can even carry my big tub of ammunition. This is a good backpack. has lots of pouches, lots of pockets and it's pretty light fits well pretty big I've got my little compass on there which is good this backpack has been a lot of places I think it's been to a summer camp before I can't remember though uh, so this will be great to have uh, it will be nice to be able to just stick my shotgun in the bag and then pull out my pistols so Overall, I have to be kind of creative with the way that I actually have my airsoft load out. I've experimented with things, seen what is the best, what's good, what's not, different weights, different different size things. I think I've found the perfect thing that I'm going to use carrying all the stuff. Not too much, not overly tactical, but pretty nice. Everything has a purpose and a use. And it's going to make for some pretty good airsoft wars. I want to 
we are going to have an airsoft war soon, Shadow Squadron is. And I, if I can, I'll record it. I don't know if I'm able to. But if I can, I definitely will and upload some of that for you guys. And I also want to show you some of the rest of the groups loadout, out so you can see different weapons, different gear, stuff that they carry as well. So overall, that was my loadout video. And that's what I will be using in the wars. In, and I will change it up and adjust for the different game modes we do. So that's pretty much it. My name is Rudders, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.